stories from a connected world. Thousands of species disappear every year. The extinction of a species can affect many others because the ecosystem has a structure of a network. Let's look at an example. In the early 20th century, sea otters off the coast of California had almost disappeared because of hunting. In 1911, the US government decided to protect them. Sea otters proliferated and fed abundantly on their main prey, sea urchins. The sea urchin population declined, which increased the amount of algae, their favourite food. With a renewed abundance of algae, more food became available for a range of fishes and coastal erosion was reduced. Avoiding extinction triggered a domino effect. Understanding ecosystems is not always easy. In the 1980s, the population of cod in the North Atlantic declined remarkably. Canadian stakeholders blamed seals for being predators of cod. Although many seals were killed, the cod population continued to decline. In the late 1990s, ecologists drew the food chains that connect the seal and the cod and obtained a dense and intricate picture. It was much more complex than it was supposed to be. An ecosystem is a network, and in order to understand it, one has to take into account the pattern of its connections.